Hi, hello, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Welcome to my Moody Monday. Today we are playing with some new stuff from the new catalogue. Oh, it's so lovely. I can't show you any of it other than the cover. <laughs> but I can show you some things from the inside of it. I'm allowed to do that because I have them in person. So this is my first sneak peek. So we've got lots to talk about. Hello, hi Linda. Hello, I've oh, got lots on today because it's miserable, isn't it? None of you are outside. <laughs> I can always tell when the weather's bad. Everyone watches my Facebook lives. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we're going to be playing with a little bit of stuff that's in here. Um, Bev's still making masks. I can't believe you're still making masks. You need to have some time to craft, Bev. Have you done any card making? Hi, Deb. How are you, honey? Have you done any crafting at all, Bev? Or are you just sewing at the moment? Everybody's just sewing at the moment. It's crazy. Anyway, um, I'm waffling. Right. So I'm going to we're going to talk this week about something that is um, sewing is crafting. Of course you are. Of course it is, Jackie. And um, oh, yes, Deborah, you can't wait. I know. I bet you're <laughs> you will be getting it. Uh, Bev says, yes, they were lovely good good and you've got more to come so that's good right so this this week i wanted to talk to you about a set that's coming but also a set that's coming back so do you remember these papers from last year this was the product product medley set from last year and we had all these we had deer we had candy cane we had some nice flowery things wreathy things mistletoe things some presents some stripes lots of trees and it came with an entire pack so you got um stamp set and dies most wonderful time stamp set and dies and stickers and embellishments and this lovely like tinsel ribbon and everything well that's coming back again okay so that is going to be in the new catalogue um it's a carryover a returning favorite is what they're calling it and i'm really pleased because look how much i've got left <laughs> of that and i know that sometimes we do have stuff left over from last year so i thought i would use some of this today so i'm going to use some of the red and then let's see what else can we use some of the candy cane i think we'll use some candy cane okay and then i've also got some new paper hi joan nice to see you here yes yeah, so i've got some of the new papers this is the tis the season papers Honestly, I've got so much, so much stuff. I've just, I've put it all, I've tried to put it all in a section. It's all in a big box. Um, so this uses shaded spruce, cherry cobbler. <gasps> Look at all these. Aren't they gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, yeah, see, these were on the front cover. Some of these. Look at that. Also got some real red in there. Bells. Some, what else we got? Some reindeer. Some plaid. We love a bit of plaid love a bit of plaid um then we've got so that, i think that's it isn't it so it's a set let's just check this is 12 i think so we've got candy canes some kind of like stylized design that's the word for it stripes with dots morning elizabeth afternoon actually <laughs> oh you like them okay hi sheila and then sort of like i don't know what they are and then this is the um that's kind of like argyle and this is pla um tartan and then we've got some more candy cane and then we've got some trees and we've got some holly and then we've got some bells what's this oh that's red and red stripe and dots and we've got some more holly and some pine le pine needles and um what's that that's a deer that's a deer pip and then some plaid okay so that's that side okay which are all lovely and then on the other side oh what have we got here <gasps> lovely oh, i like this look see so we've got some mistletoe and we've got some stars with um chevrony pattern not chevrony sort of diamond pattern more mistletoe that's nice i like that kind of design more mistletoe mistletoe is obviously in this year holly in a kind of a in a kind of a square pattern which is quite nice just a nice sort of gentle what would you call that some kind of celtic knots actually can you see that see that looks like kind of celtic knots going on there yeah that's nice then we've got 
it's kind of a swirly pattern swirly pattern can you see that very gentle very subtle some of these um like a flower square pattern more more diamond shape patterns oh pretty i like that one pine pine thingies hey rosie hi nikki oh you're a holiday so you popped in rosie that's nice have i hope you're having a nice hope you're not getting washed out like we are here it's absolutely dreadful bucketing it down um then this is more square patterns with mistletoe in i think and then that's a nice bright bold uh holly there isn't it that's really bold yeah so that's one of the packs okay um that's one of the packs from the new catalogue i like that that's gonna i mean it'll work with anything won't it so you've got shaded spruce uh basic black shaded spruce cherry cobbler garden green real red shaded spruce and whisper white yeah so some great greens there garden green and shaded spruce and our two reds cherry cobbler and real red so i have here in front of me um it's beginning to look a lot like christmas yay i love christmas um so i have here in this case real red and old olive and i can just whip up casually like so and grab my shaded spruce so i haven't got my garden green but my shaded spruce will go with any of these and then you just have to find one that's like real red so the real red ones are the like the brighter red so it's slightly brighter and then the cherry cobbler is the darker but they're all lovely i think they go with anything quite frankly so that's they're nice so we're going to use some of those so we'll pick a couple of patterns pick a couple of patterns. so we've got what we've we got here we've got mistletoe -y kind of stuff and old olive so and candy canes so let's not go candy canes but i want real red because i haven't got my cherry cobbler out so we could go is that a real red i think that's a real red yeah so let's go for that pattern cool that could be tricky we'll see how we go and then um what about some bells we could do some i think bells might go with what i'm planning oh let's have a look because i've got something in mind you see so it has to go with what i've got planned mm -mm -mm. oh they would go with that one although which one's that that's garden green typical it's not the one i've got typically i could go and get my garden green though couldn't i <gasps> what should we do decisions where's that holly is that holly shaded spruce i bet it is it's gone Oh, hang on, what's that? That's a holly. Mm. That looks like the real red has been put with the garden green and the shade. Let's go with just shaded spruce like that. There we go, I'll do that. There we go. Okay. So the paper was kind of like a side thing to what I was talking about, talking to you today about. However, it is lovely to actually get a look at the new papers. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I haven't actually managed to open much of the new papers, or in fact, at actually much of the new stuff at all yet despite the fact they've been in my house for a while um mainly because i've just been busy doing classes and being on holiday and all that kind of jazz um and trying to think about retreat and stuff so now i need to get my head down and start playing with some new things so we've got um some papers and then i've got here a selection of envelopes which you're going to go that's a bit weird pit why have you got some envelopes well it's a good thing you asked that because one of the new stamp sets in the new catalogue and i've got some card making materials as well we'll do that but one of the new bundles in fact in the new catalogue is called ornamental envelopes okay and it comes with these gorgeous baubles which hey who doesn't love a bauble um and also these really weird kind of like just sort of swaggy things um and then some lines i guess because you're going to need to write your envelopes but then it comes with a set of dies and the set of dies are all about embellishing your envelopes because you know we don't like naked envelopes over here in Stampin' Up Land we like coloured envelopes and there is something really luxurious about giving somebody an envelope that has been like decorated okay so this is my first outing with my envelopes so we're going to learn as we go along okay I do know that they will fit all of the sizes of envelope that we've got okay so they'll fit our normal standard c6 
they'll fit our little notelet cards, cards and notes, note cards and envelopes um, in whisper white and very vanilla. And these are our little three by threes and they'll they'll um, do that too. Becky, you've just said Pip and I haven't, can't see the rest. What did you say? Right, maybe you haven't finished it yet. So it also comes with some dies to cut out your bauble stamps. Yay. And these beautiful decorative edges decorative inlay pieces so we're definitely going to pay how much is the envelope set um i don't know hang on i will have to have a look i can't show you i'll have to look secret squirrel in the back of my catalog bear with me one moment caller uh it is it is it is, it is it's 44 pounds for the bundle of the dies and the stamp set so i don't think that's bad and it does inners for the big ones and it does outers for the rest if you see what you mean so we're going to get all of these out plus you can do like little decorative pieces i'm just going to get all of it um it just looks amazing oh good i'm glad you're looking forward to seeing this bundle in action because i just i love a decorative envelope um i'm just going to get it all out let's just let's just peel it all off shall we I'm not sure I'm going to do masses and masses of this. We are going to do some die cutting, so we will be shaking the table. I'm just going to go and get myself all oh, that squeaky chair. Um, I'm just going to go and get myself. Should have thought about this beforehand. Let's go and get myself a piece of a piece of. There we go. Right, now I can put them all back and I don't have to worry about getting them on and off. I always do that. I don't know if you do that too, but I always do that. So, um, and before you ask, you can get these from Amazon. Just go onto Amazon, look for magnetic sheets, go for the cheapest chips ones you can find. Um, make sure they're thin though. The thick ones are annoying. I think that went up there, didn't that? Goes up there, that goes in there. Here we go. Just getting them all sort of back on-ish. I'll, I'll fix it properly later. There's something like that. But I just want to put them back so I don't lose any of them. Because <laughs> you know what will happen. Right, there we go. Okay. So let's start off just by cutting some edges. All right. So we move all our envelopes to one side. And I'm just going to get the big piece out. And I think we're going to have to... Yeah, I thought so. It's not quite, you need just a little bit more because it's going to fit on a, onto an envelope that is, takes a 15 centimetre one. You have to cut it at, a, at, an, at an angle. Good grief, Pip. Spit your words out. So what I'm going to do, just, this is for the biggest ones. It'll be all right if it's 12 by 12, but it's because I'm using 6 by 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop that off, sort of there-ish just so that we've got maybe a little bit up just so that it's not going to get caught up on my big shot okay and we've got an edge now you might say oh no that's wasting a lot of paper blah 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 you know whatever but look you can get a little another one out of that side and then you've got bits that you can chop out as well so don't panic about that um and they'll still look beautiful the only thing you'll have to be concerned about is when you're doing an envelope which has got a specific pattern going up or down then you might want to use that for your smaller cards because then you can go exactly but only on your six by six on your 12 by 12 you'll be fine and actually you probably could just get it on I'm just being I mean you can just get it on actually you can get that on yeah okay let's put that on I'm being pedantic but let's try it let's do that let's chop that in half because I reckon I can get that on. You're catching, you're having to, your internet is rubbish today. Oh, it's probably because it's raining, Becky. Oh no, I'm sorry. Well, we'll see you soon. I'll catch you later. Okay. So, for to do the big ones, you need to get literally edge to edge. Okay. And then stick those down. So... You know my trick for that. Washi tape. A bit of washi tape. So we'll do that and then we'll come back and I'll show you the other one where you don't have to worry about it being in the right direction. Okay? 
So that's that. There we go. That's held. Uh, let's do a... We can also do a note card in this. Again, I would probably take it down to the edge because you want a, a flat edge for the top of your envelope. Do you know what I mean? For the flap, for where the flap goes. So we'll just pop that in. Okay, like so. And then we're going to use the candy cane one on the little one here because, as I said, you can fit two on. You can get the little one as well as the big one out of that. Although, actually, you could have got two big ones out if I'd have just paint, spent a little bit more time measuring my edges. But that's me all over. I'm a little bit, you know, impatient. You like that? A little bit impatient? Yeah. But hey-ho. Say la Okay, I'm going to go creaky again as I roll across my floor. It's apparently the wheels, but hey-ho. So they say. I'm going to just... Now, I've been very nice to you guys. Oh, I've got a new plate out because <laughs> you want to see it right you don't want to see all the messy stuff that i've had before on those so it's going to shine though that's my only concern but i've got a new plate so this is the cutting plates we do so you can see through nicely good morning pam just a quick pop in hello quickly popping in we're looking at the beautiful new ornamental envelope dies <gasps> lovely yeah i love the papers for the for all of them actually I am a bit of a paper fiend, but I don't keep one to stroke. Just saying, because there are girls out there who know what I'm talking about. OK, so that one, I didn't quite get that onto the edge. I'll just have to quickly pop that off, but that's OK. So you want it just coming up to the edge. I think I've done this one a bit too tight, a bit too high as well, but never mind. Let's keep going. There we go. We'll, we'll cut them all out. And then I'll show you what the other ones do as well, because there's some beautiful like inlay pieces, really beautiful. So we'll do those two. Where's this through? Oh, for my new machine, especially my little one. Although I think these would go through the mini. I'd have to have a look. I think they would, because they're thin enough. Right. OK, so that's that. And then you know, we'll come back and we'll do the stamp to the inlay pieces in a minute, shall we? Have I got some stuff I can just cut now? That's short enough that would work. Let's have a look. What colours have we got? What colours have we got here? Black's always a good one on top of red. Let's go for that just to show you what these look like, shall we? I think so. So let's just put that down the middle of our card. As if it was going to go down the middle. Like so. And we will indeed put this one probably down the middle. Okay. I know black's not really a Christmassy colour, but it's just so that you can see it because um, black with the red underneath or the green or even white underneath will just look amazing. There we go. Oh, look at that. Love a dye that does that, don't you? Of course, then I want to just pick these little bits off and do them individually, but that's just no stop i want to do it but i'm not gonna there you go they've all just gone in the bin <gasps> i know shock horror okay so we'll just do that can you imagine that in, in foiling or something or foiling underneath and oh and look that's clean that doesn't even need anything pulling out of it we like that okay so let's see how we're doing how have i done on these not bad with this one. This one just needs literally a little snip on this side. And a little snip on this side. Here we go. Okay. So that's the medium. This is the large one. Oh, same on this side. Must have been a little crooked. <gasps> Shock horror. By about a millimetre. Not even a millimetre. A smidge. Same with this one. Obviously, you're going to have to get used to where your edges are on this. But, you know, that's just one of those things that you, you'll get used to. But I'm sure it doesn't matter. Let's see how it looks, shall we? Shall we see how it looks? That's what you want to do with the little bits too. I know, Sheila, but you've got to draw the line, I figure, somewhere, right? I mean, I know that there are people out there who make amazing things by 
picking up all those little bits and switching them in and out and doing inlay and all that kind of stuff and I take my hat off to them but I don't have time um, so, <laughs> so they can go ahead and do that and I'll just watch in, in awe of their timing right so let's have a look it's quite nice the other side actually just with that little scallopy bit really but anyway so let's have a look envelopes here we go so now oh that's tiny tiny well that's interesting I thought that fitted exactly on that little one but it doesn't does it I wonder what that one fits on oh is there new envelopes maybe in the new catalogue that I haven't spotted oh I'm gonna have to go and have a look now because I assumed that that fitted on there oh okay well, you could make your own envelopes with that long and thin ones i'll have to go and have a look at those but i haven't i can't open the catalogue these ones on the other hand oh no these are liners ah they're all liners i thought they were all outers but they're all innies like tummy buttons ah there we go so they're all innies okay so the other pieces must be to decorate the outers and none of these for the outers no these are all for the inners okay see we're all learning together here in which case i would have made them longer and then done a whole the sh a whole sheet but that's okay we can do that with the other ones which means it must be this one that's the outer is this the outer this is the outer okay so this is a scallopy edge for your outer oh fair enough well you learn stuff every day yes put it on the inside yes well done jackie <laughs> In which case then i wonder if this might do an outer for no that's too short that won't do an outer these must be decorative outer decorative pieces for the outside aha uh -huh. okay in that case what we will do is we will score these just we'll make a little mark and we'll just score them now normally i would make this go down all the way inside um, and then you just literally but you can just fold these over and then when they open them you can stick them to the inside and then when you lick them at, you know or they lick them or whatever it's just it's just when they open it it's pretty on the inside cool okay i'm learning everything all these times see this is what happens when i don't practice beforehand so we'll put them in in a minute in which case i know that i've seen some of these though work on the outside so i need to work out now which ones go on the outside of the envelopes so bear with and we'll do some more because I know that some of these do the outside so I know for example that this will fit on the outside of that but then I'd have to cut that to fit there wouldn't I and that I feel personally I feel that's much better on the front of a card I just feel like that's like a nice look at that see isn't that lovely and then you could decorate it and all that kind of stuff that's just my personal opinion okay so if this is the outside we can do this with the papers and then we trim them to fit as normal which means you definitely need to do these ones you can't do these ones on a six by six because the envelope is too big but you can will they fit the same angle on the little ones let's have a look where's my note cards come on where's my note cards there we go when all else fails read the instructions yeah there isn't any instructions though janice that's the thing i'm supposed to know what i'm doing <laughs> hi sarah so yes yeah, see it says these are supposed to make clean cuts and crisp score lines okay that's fine but it doesn't really tell you anything else than that yes so i thought i had looked i looked at it on the in the catalogue and they definitely have them on the outside so i want to understand how we can get these on the outside so if i do that as a scallopy that is a scallop that way so if i do that as a scallopy oh look see it'll fit it'll fit both that's nice so we can definitely do some of these for some of these here we go so if we cut this like this about there-ish say i'll have to do a bit of trimming maybe about there-ish let's do there-ish so it's safe let's do there and let's do this for a little note card and we'll do some trimming because i know that you can do these on the outside because as i say i've seen them done but 
with the big ones you'd have to do like a long strip of a 12 by 12 and i don't have any christmas 12 by 12 out at the moment but i might just ping out some other 12 by 12s and we'll see how pretty we can make them with everything else okay now put this through make sure you always put it through vertically like this so that it goes with the grain you're not kind of like junking it over like that otherwise that's never good okay so there we go i want to show you what i show what i've seen i'm going to show you what they look like when they're on because look look they look just so lovely okay so now i'm just going to glue this piece here it's always best to glue the envelope not the paper so that you don't go too far with the glue we we'll quite like it that way too but we're not going to do it that way we're going to do it this way so this is going to go in the middle of your scallop line like so like that and then you just cut up your edges okay so then you're just going to want to cut up here and i would just follow that up to meet one of those little scallopy bits and then this one's going to come down here like so like so take that off and then i just run up run up the side here you can run up the side with your trimmer if you're very good and know you're not actually cutting cutting out the um side of your envelope sometimes that happens with me i actually chopped the top of my envelope off once to put it on my trimmer <laughs> So now I just use my scissors. Hi Brenda. So there we go. That's that's what I wanted to do. But now of course we can add a nice pretty inner if we wanted to as well. So there we go. So that's your outer. Then you've got your inners, which we've just done. And now I want to show you the other decorative features, because this will definitely fit on the. So if you had if you did that, you could also then just cut this piece out before you attached it to the envelope, so you could have a see-through piece. That's quite nice okay and the same with this this is also like this this cuts out an entire strip an entire strip and the dots in the middle so you would get like a, a cut out piece we'll do some of those in a second maybe okay but let's finish off these one so let's just finish off this one so let me show you what I would have what I would do with this. I would get my trimmer out. Okay, because I kind of went off because I wanted to get that bit done. I'd kind of work out where I'm going to put this. Ah, so it's about one and a half centimeters. Pop that in here at one and a half centimeters. Okay. Score. And then that will be your fold line. Okay, I like to give them a fold line before you attach them because otherwise what can happen is it can get a bit um, tricky when you fold your cards, uh, fold your envelopes rather. And then it's just the same as before, but I only actually glue this top edge. Whenever you're putting an inner inside, only ever glue the top edge. And the reason for that is because you want the paper to be able to move and you want the envelope to be able to open and close okay otherwise it's a bit like um it's a bit like when you're making boxes and you do the bits too tight it doesn't open and close properly so that will go in there then when you leave fold that down see the whole thing moves now obviously i would do this normally to be an entire sheet of paper going all the way through but i chopped it off didn't i, I made a mistake okay so normally it wouldn't do that and come up like that okay so actually what i would probably do with this one because this is my tester one is i would chop that off and then i just glue that down to the front so it's just a flat but i just wanted to show you that that's what i do i never actually glue this down if you're putting the whole paper all the way down inside never never glue the inside just glue the little flap okay then we've got some stamps that work with this now i'm going to need my stamparatus because my stamparatus is going to be perfect for this who's got their stamparatus in one of these bags got it in your little bag always have it in my little bag keeps it really safe really safe and secure 
means I also always know where it is, which is always handy because it's in my bag, not lost somewhere all over the place. OK, so I'm going to move that up. OK, because in the get out of the way, get out of the way in the stamps that come with the um, stamp set is a set of lines and they're photopolymer so you can see through which is always helpful okay Ooh, they're wibbly wobbly Ooh. as you can tell i've not opened these i just thought i'd play with them today so they're wibbly wobbly okay so we want to just flop them down so that we keep them straight now roughly that's not actually a bad position but i just want them over a little bit more so i'm going to pop them down just to try and line them up with my grid paper i'm gonna to have to stand up sorry about the squeaky chair i have to stand up so i can see because i want to see through through there so that i can see them that looks about straight to me look about straight to you i think so and then we pop them down bring them up might be a bit high but it might be all right the other way around let's see so this way okay i need to bring over a little bit actually that's pretty good so two squares in which is centimeters for those of us in europe could do it a bit further down if you wanted to do it a bit further down you'd actually go in from the bottom see what i mean and it just drops it down slightly it's not quite so high let's do that so two squares in from where I've positioned it and that's just where I've positioned it have I got my foam yeah you will obviously position it wherever you want to and then I like a gray a nice gray I think if you're going to do something with writing or even a, maybe a Sahara sand but let's go with a smoky slate because it's quite nice and light there we go pop that down There we go. How cool is that? Is that not very posh? So now we have a posh outside because it's all nice, ready for you to address it. We've got a posh inside because we've got a nice inner flap. Now all we need is a card to match. So let's see what we can do. Who likes that idea? Thumbs up? No? Yes? Are we liking the envelopes? Who decorates their envelopes today? Anybody? Surely some of you decorate your envelopes today. Now, which one's this? It's got mistletoe in it, hasn't it? Mm. That's this one. I'm getting a couple of thumbs up now. Good, thank you. Okay, so what have we got in here? So we've got all of our baubles, and I love the fact that these all come in one big stamp like that and funnily enough the die comes in one big die now when you cut it out you get individual baubles okay because it doesn't cut all of the lines it doesn't join them all up so when you cut them out they become individual but when you stamp them you can just stamp them in one great big hit which is quite nice so this is really good if you're making multiples i'll tell you why it's good for making multiples let us say get some Mr. White card stock. So let's say we wanted we'll play with those in a minute. Let's say we wanted a card that matched. Okay, so it's got some green and some red and some gold, but we won't be doing gold today. Let's just do some green and some red. Okay. <laughs> stuck to me stuck to my table. Oh, good. You often stamp. You do, Jill, and Paula does. You're all stamping your envelopes. Good girls. Excellent. Well, now you see you can decorate them too, which is nice. Easy peasy decoration. And once I work out how to, what exact cut I need, then, then that will work too. I can show everybody that. So supposing we wanted to have a card that matched our, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this on a piece of whisper white like this piece of whisper white here we go okay so let's stamp this 
I'm going to come in from the top. I'm going to stand up again. <laughs> this is going to be a top. This is going to be a standy uppy um, session, right? So we're going to stamp that down there. Okay. So I've stamped that once. Hi, Leonie. You haven't missed me, no. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm still here waffling on. You missed my um my fail this, uh, just earlier to work out what on earth I'm supposed to be doing with these stamps, these dies, but it came out okay in the end. Cool. So that's so I've stamped that. That's pretty. Put a sentiment on it. Good to go, right? But supposing you wanted to have a bit of lift, a bit of extra, okay. So I'm just cleaning off my stamps here. Bear with. I'm my scrub. Okay, then what we do, we take our real red, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to see, it's funny, I'm like, why did that not work? That, I thought that was going to work, but it didn't. Okay, so now a bit of real red, okay, because you have to have real red for Christmas. Now we're going to go through this way, through the big shop, there we go, there we go, nice, lovely, um, chop that out. Oh, with me non, with me other big scissors. There we go, my old scissors. <laughs> I use for scrappy stuff. Now we're going to get our big set of dies, baubles. We're going to layer the this over here. See how perfect that just slots in there beautifully. Nice. Just checking with me eye line. I'm right. Yeah. There we go. I think I am. It's always difficult doing it at an angle, and I can't stand up all the time. Otherwise, I'm shouting at you in the in the in my. It's going from low to high to low to high. Right here comes my die, die cutting. Let's pop this through. Yeah, we can always make it into anything. Exactly, it's just an exactly an exploratory venture. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Well, isn't that the way though? You get something new and you try it, and you think, oh, that didn't work how I how I thought it was going to work. So, <laughs> and look, here we go, baubles. It's raining baubles. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be great though when we've done it, isn't it? Because then we know we we know we've got it right okay so now we've got lots of baubles and i'm not going to use all of them but what i am going to do is get myself a card base and this is such a simple i mean this is like the basic basic card you could ever do it's not it's not going to be really really tricky or really um wow factorish but it's going to have that it's going to have some green where's my green got a green in here somewhere there we go it's gonna have some green and then so we'll do we'll do red and green lovely 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 then I'll put some stuff on in a minute and then look we're gonna pop these up with dimensionals so that they're just a little bit different isn't that cool so we could have like three three red ones three green ones and we can lift those with dimensionals so that we can get the opposite of what we've just done and again you could do that and you could keep doing that over and over and then you've got lots of mix and match really like the idea of mixing and matching and then you see these sort of swag things that they're all these different things you can then attach your little baubles from your little swags as well so we'll do that in a second i want to play with these i want to play with these let's put these on thingies before i lose them to the, because you know that will happen it'll get stuck to the bottom of something won't it and then we'll never find it again so we'll pop that on a block <laughs> that's my top tip for the day always put stuff on blocks never leave stamps just lying around on your table because you will lose them absolutely guaranteed now the other good thing i wanted to say is although we have lots of lovely ribbon coming in the new catalog this is the playful pets and it's a real red ribbon isn't that just an absolutely divine christmas ribbon I think it's just gorgeous so i'm going to wrap that around the bottom and then the only thing this stamp set doesn't have is sentiments i don't believe it's just got it's just got pictures some nice little bits some corner edges i mean it, beautiful things beautiful things but it doesn't have any sentiments so i'm grabbing 
thing. Where did I put it? Where's my medley gone? Yeah. So in the medley, we've got some really nice sentiments, including this one that says deck the halls, which I kind of think fits perfectly. So since it's going to have the, the medley paper on the inside of its envelope, we might as well do that. Now, I am going to just, I do want to probably just cut that off down my line. So I think I am going to just do that because I'm not, I'm annoyed now that I've got that there. So if you'd make a, if you make a design change, you just, just go through with it, right? So I'm just going to chop that down that score line that I put in. I'm going to cut so that I can then just glue just again make sure you're not cutting your envelope you are just cutting the paper that you've accidentally put on too short so where's this middle bit that gets fiddly isn't it you don't know whether to go in from the right side the left side I'm gonna go in from this side it's getting stuck on the envelope so I just want to pull it away there we go just don't cut your finger off at the same time Please don't let there be blood. <laughs> okay, cool. Yours would be neater than mine. And then I'll just stick a little bit of, remember, because I didn't put the glue down. <laughs> didn't like the stamp set when you've seen the pictures, but I've definitely changed your mind. Oh, okay, good. Well, I'm going to be doing more with this, so hopefully I will change your mind a bit more too and even add to it. Which one, the most wonderful or the baubles? That's the question I need to ask. Was it the envelope one that you didn't like? I mean, it's it's quite a, it's a different thing. We've not had, we've not really had much, many, or oh, it's been a few years since we've had anything to do with envelopes and decorating envelopes. So I'm just, sorry, I'm being pedantic now. There we go. Oh, I've got an extra bit. There we go. So that's your, in, that's going to be that bit. So a bit of mistletoe, lovely. Nice lines on the front, smashing. Then we'll just literally, I keep, I say that a lot, don't I? Literally, I find myself saying that in all my videos. I do, a I don't know why, but there we go. Now, I will be starting to send out some uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Starting to send out some tutorials based on my, based on all my exploits with the Christmas catalogue. So if you want to get my tutorials for free, then you need to come and join my newsletter um, and join the one, join my newsletter uh, for my treats on Tuesday. So my treats on Tuesday is where I can, um, which is my marketing one, basically. It's where I tell you about all my own specials, all Stampin' Up! specials, all the stuff that you get from me, etc. Um, and I always put in a free tutorial so if you're interested you can come and join that um, but it will talk about lots of things joining buying all that kind of stuff so if you're just if you're not into any of that then don't join it um, <laughs> and I do sometimes share tutorials on my just on my normal crafty one my Saturday um, inspiration one but I also just do like a blog roundup of all my blogs and all that kind of stuff and tell you a bit about what's going on and things like that I do add extra inspiration into that one too but if you want to join my sub subscribe and then say yes to my treats on Tuesday one and then you'll get a free tutorial every Tuesday funnily enough because it's treats on Tuesday almost like I, it makes sense here we go these are so so I'm doing these with different dimensionals to give them different height. So the mini ones are just a tiny touch lower. Oh, baubles. You like trees and snows kind of girl. Yes, it does look Scandinavian. You still have some of the... Why does that not surprise me, Jackie, that you still have some of the lining papers from years gone by? That does not surprise me whatsoever. <laughs> right, here we go. God, I forgot about that. Okay, so that's that. Then I'm going to... Oh, I've run out of snail, I mean seal, I've run out of seal on my order today, so 
that will come hopefully by the time we have another video next week this is my last ever bit of snail so if that runs out i'm stuffed but we're going to do this um it does look scandinavian actually i thought that kind of nordic that's a bit high a bit lower there we go i almost mm, i want to do a double whammy of this oh come on stick 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 might have to put some tape my snails definitely not sticking like it it has done if you pull it too tight there we go double row like so and there we go and i know you could chop it off and do two individual and save a whole like three two inches of but i can't be bothered so <laughs> that's just me no i'm not saying you would hoard at all never jackie i just think that you love paper that's what i'm saying you love paper and that is true you do love paper okay so this is going to go on here da -da. there we go yeah i just i like the ease of this i think that's what i like i like you know me quick and easy simple as best simply stylish that's what i like and i think these are pretty stylish okay and then i would put deck the halls plus i love a fancy gadget that's a die set <laughs> i do love i would probably just tuck those two together like that so they come in slightly from each side and i'm going to do that with a when i put the label on i'm going to put deck the halls on and the medley comes with the dies because dyes are great we love dyes since i'm still talking about dyes this month and i'll be talking about dyes next month a little bit as well but this met this one oh see now i could have actually put the ribbon through it but i'm not going to bother about that i'm just going to stamp and go with this you need a slightly it's not quite your normal small size of whisper white we'll do this in old olive old olive so that it's the same as the so it's opposite to the ribbon and we've got depth the halls i didn't i mean i did use this medley a lot last year um but probably not as much as i could have done i guess that's what we say every year isn't it with stuff but i do like i love it when we can go back and use stuff again there we go so then we'll pop that on there see doesn't that fit just yummy we'll pop that on there we'll cut that out oh i need my washi tape that's stuck to my baubles oh, i can't wait to get the little magnetic sheets that don't drop pinch things i mean and mine's still in the back of the car would you believe i still haven't got it out of the back of the car every time i think about it um oh hello Sheila. you just found it just found what i don't know what you just found but i'm hoping i'm glad that you found it so that's good <laughs> I miss that. I'm missing all the comments. They're whizzing up way too far, some of them. Deborah says, lovely. Thank you. I saw that. Okay. So, pop that on. There we go. My first Christmas card this year. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've waited all this time. And normally I've done loads in, well, at least some in July. There we go. So, to, to just pinch that together, I, um, it, I cheat. <laughs> I don't know why I whisper when I say I cheat because quite frankly it's not cheating it's just another way of doing it <laughs> I just take a glue dot from behind here and then I lift I work out where I want it to go sort of in there-ish you sort of splay them out put the glue dot down and then push them back together again like lift them in and push them in like that there we go and then they're together and they're apart see dead easy and then you're going to put this on with dimensionals anyway which will hold the rest of it in place so it's going to hide quite a lot of the ribbon but i don't care it's it's just a nice sentiment that's going to work beautifully and look good there we go there we go and you can still tell that it's been pulled together even though the sentiment's going on top of it i don't know why but you can there that's 
pretty. Then, of course, you need things to make it go bling, don't you? You always need things to make it go bling. And we have these amazing red rhinestones. They come in a pack like this. And then I just shove mine in a pack when I've when I've um, got them started because otherwise I tend to lose them. And then we can pop these right in the middle. Now see, Sarah would put Winker Stella on, which is also another option. So don't be afraid to be using your Winker Stella here as well, peeps. I think I want it on that one. There we go. Just three. Lovely. Uh, I couldn't see that, but sh but Gillian agrees with you that it's good to see what can be done. OK, good. Yes. OK. And Sandra's watching. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, it's just nice to see sometimes. That's why I like my Facebook lives. I just kind of play with stuff and you follow along and tell me whether you like it or not. And then you can tell me what to whether I need to change anything up or not. But um, I think that's turned out right, don't you? that's pretty and then you've got baubles left over for your next card and then if you wanted it to of course of course of course of course you could add a strip of the papers underneath or just down the bottom so that you matched it identically to your envelope wherever my envelope's gone which i've now lost <gasps> where'd it go where'd it go not that one not that one what was that with it you all saw i had it just a minute ago didn't you it was just here oh there it is <laughs> i'm not used to seeing it with the lines on it but you know i think it's close enough that even if you had that and you had that you know you'd kind of know that it matched it was christmasy and it went together don't you think i think so so that's that with my little little envelope okay so that's the first one done how am i doing for time oh good heavens i've been going an hour already shall i do something else I just wanted to show you one of these. I wanted to show you this, which again works brilliantly on my Stamparatus, but I'm just going to do it quickly, I think, on a piece of Whisper White. Oh, and of course, we've also got our black piece, which I think would work better this way. But I do think that black piece is just stunning that we did. I can find it again here if we take if we just finish off all these bits which normally I would do with my dye brush but I'm just going to pop these out oh I've lost me I've lost one of my lights sorry I don't know why that's gone that was on full charge obviously I've been talking too long there we go can you still see if I turn this one up a bit oops turn that one up a little bit that one. There we go. Yeah, don't look at the time. All right then, Deborah, I won't look at the time. <laughs> You're going to be over between two and three. Okay, Sheila, that's cool. So we've got plenty of time then for me to keep going. <laughs> uh, actually, no, we haven't because it's, it's half past one already. So, right. Oh, I've missed another one there. Now, come on. See that cut out beautifully, didn't it? And I do like it on the red as well. Isn't that gorgeous? See how that's cut out nicely? But see, you could do it on the white as well. So you could just go like one, two, three layers. And then look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then you could just, I would, I would actually heat emboss in white a Christmas greeting across the top. And put some little red gemstones or something on that. And I think that's just a stunning Christmas card too. Isn't that pretty? So nice. Okay, however, that wasn't the one I was going to show you. So <laughs> I'd, I've digressed again because I cut it out in black. So I'd have to show I wanted to show you how you could do that in black. But the other one I wanted to do was this using this. So one of the things you get is like a it's it's a sprucey thing so i thought well we've got this we've done a sprucey topper somewhere where is it here okay on a little note card oh it's on a note card okay let's make that into a note card then where's my note cards here. 
Okay, so ooh, come on. There we go. So let's just do a really simple. Um, actually, I'm going to fold it. Now I'm going to fold it first. I'm going to fold it first because I like to find my leading edge. So I always like to know which one's going to be my front, and it's going to be that one. Okay, now I can open it up again. So put my mat down. Yes, glimmer paper, foil. I mean, rainbow glimmer paper. Oh, just amazing stuff, Alison, you could put behind that. So I'm going to do some branches in shaded spruce. So these are, it's like a little, can you tell? I'm going to start here. And I've no idea whether this is going to be the right sort of size or not, but I think so. You can go, yeah, I think you need to go, it's better to do it this way around, I think. One, two, just sort of overlap here. Three, again, I need to practice with this because there's a, there's a, there's a good way of doing these but overlapping is kind of working oh i've gone a bit off my circle there we go sort of like that okay that's your wreath okay your boughs of your wreath tree boughs and then where's my other one gone here I'll take the sentiment off the other side pop over there then you've got these little things i don't know if you can see those they're basically dots so they must be your berries, right? So I figure they just, this would look great embossed. Again, can you imagine like on dark coloured card or that one sticking out a bit, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Look, some of my berries are a little bit off, but that's just because I'm being quick at it. But see what I mean? Look. You've got little berries going around your little wreath thing. Again, I need to practice working out which way up my stuff goes. And then across the center, I'm going to put... Uh, do that in red. Deck the halls. Straight across the middle. Oh, look at that. Fits perfectly as if these two would... And they weren't designed to go together, but it looks nice. And then... <laughs> And then that is literally a tiny, tiny note card. I've shifted over a little bit with my rushing stamping. But a tiny note card that will fit and match with a nice decorated envelope, like so. That's cute, isn't it? I think that's cute. And then again, if you wanted to decorate the front, you could just put a few little swags on the front, like so. Or even if you just wanted to do the envelope, you could just do that too. Hi, Karen. But I just, I just like that, like that, like that. That's kind of cute. There we go. So there we go. I think I have waffled on quite enough now. But can you see the possibilities with this set? What do you think? With this, with its nice internal envelope bit. And this with its not quite put together, but you can see what it means. Yes, you will, Karen, because I'm just about to head off out. <laughs> I'm just about to finish off and head off um, because my lights just died. So, but what do you think? So that's the ornamental, it's the ornamental envelope bundle. And then the papers are the, this is the medley, the Christmas medley, and the others are Tis the Season. Oh, good, I'm getting lots of loves. That's nice, thank you. So, yeah, I like I really like this one. I think that's come out nice. This one I rushed, but it's it's still cute. I might just cut that down, chop off a bit, make it square and stick it on another card. Then that's just me. <laughs> ah, thanks, Alison. Thanks, Bev. I mean, you could make once you've got those lined up on the Stamparatus, you literally just turn your cardstock round like this and it just stamps perfectly with the Stamparatus. Um, so you could make a 100 of those and that could be your Christmas card notelets going straight out to say hello to everybody or you know i'm sorry we've all had such a rubbish year but i hope you're all okay at christmas or something you know <laughs> thanks bev so yeah i like this set and i think i will learn to do my envelopes properly 
and I'll put all the measurements up once I work out how to do it. I'll do a blog post and another video on it for sure and I'll work out exactly what they are. But I just wanted to have something that was a die set to play with today that was different. And I thought, oh, I can just whip those out the box and give them a go. <laughs> oh dear, I knew I shouldn't have. I should have gone with something maybe a little bit more um conventional that i knew how to use but hey you've just seen you've just seen me do it and i didn't know what i was doing and i still got quite a good result i think on on most of those so that's good <laughs> so there you go so thanks ever so much for watching oh, i'm glad deb i'm glad you enjoyed them and you like the baubles yeah i love that i think that's just that's so quick and easy uh so again you could just whiz loads of those out couldn't you that'd be great so join me again here next week i'll put the link up for you to subscribe to my email list because i do like to give out you know special tips and stuff to people who are on my mailing list so if you are not on my mailing list then please do join in and i will see you here again next week all righty i will see you all soon take care for now have a better week hope it stops raining at some point wherever you are and um, i'll see you all again next week thanks ever so much for watching take care bye <laughs>